It is finished. Well done, Ophelia. Because of you, her restless soul has finally found peace. Professor, I imagine you have much on your mind. I was there the day she brought you forth into this world. Citri had always been frail. Giving birth proved to be too much for her in the end. On that fated day, it looked as though neither of you would survive. In those final moments, she spoke, saying, My heart, give it to my child. That is correct. The heart that lies within your chest is none other than hers. It was the only way that you could be saved. But Citri loved others, much as a human might. And I loved her in return. Citri looked upon me as though I was her mother. And I wished for her to have a bright future. I would not have her buried in the cold, dark soil. Prior to her funeral, I arranged for a fake burial. Afterward, I brought her body to Abyss, where I would sometimes visit her. I never thought that anyone, especially Elfric, would find her. I did not expect for such a tragedy to ensue. Boss, there's something you gotta tell me. Was Elfric really just using us all that time? How should I know? I mean, he always acted that way around me, and we were a means to an end. But the church records indicate he founded the Ashen Wolf House 15 years ago. He mentioned he found Citri 10 years ago, so it seems he really did mean well first. What's done is done. He's gone, and we're here. That's what matters now. You're always so quick to adapt to change, Happy. I should follow your example. <laughs> yeah, you always get to the heart of things quickly. Right then, I've got a lot to take care of now. I need to fill the church in on all the details about how things actually played out. And with my people freed from the monastery prison, they'll need to be accounted for. Good luck with that whole mess. I'll be rooting for you from afar. Surely you'll let us know if there is any way at all we can help. We'd be just thrilled. Hell, if you want, your people can be my people. I could use some good mercenaries to watch my back. Enough already. I get it. It's no less than you deserve. What you have sown, now you shall reap. You made your bed, now shut up about it, pal. <laughs> anyway, what do you figure will happen to Abyss? The church will want to step in, no doubt. You got me. After everything that's happened. Things can't stay the same. The church will probably assign an official to oversee things. Hopefully whoever they choose knows how to get along with Abyssians well. Let's worry about all that some other time, yeah? I could really use a tall drink and a long sleep. I'm with you. I hurt in places I didn't even know could hurt. It has been a terribly long night indeed. One I won't ever forget. A terribly long night? But a beautiful morning. <laughs> you mean to say that you are disbanding us? Yes. After speaking with the Cardinals, my decision is final. The Ashen Wolf House was originally established for youths who are in need of the Church's protection. Somewhere along the way, that intent was corrupted, and it ultimately became a cage for you. The Ashen Wolves are officially disbanded. You can consider this a graduation of sorts. You can doll this up by calling it graduating, but you're the one who sent me to Abyss to begin with. Now you waltz in here and tell us to just go live our lives as if none of this ever happened? You may continue living in Abyss, of course. Abyss will always be a refuge for those who need it most. Your chains have been unbound. You are free to live as you wish now. You ask me, this feels like good timing. 
Sounds pretty all right, Rhea. After all I have been through, I must say I feel immense gratitude at the prospect of living freely. You're just going to let me go? While I was working with the church, I still did some unsavory things. You have already been judged for your transgressions, Yuri. You have slain the undeserving. The weight of that is yours to bear. You have time to contemplate your actions now. That is punishment enough. What's with the woe is me act? She's saying you're a free man. True enough. It's up to me to determine how I'll live my life now. How I'll make up for what I've done. You made up your mind quickly, despite having ample time to think it through. Oh, someone of my many talents must make decisions in short order. I'm in high demand, after all. The Ferdiad Royal School of Sorcery demands my presence post-haste. How could I deny them? Soon, the name Nouvelle shall be renowned all throughout the Imperial Capital. Prepare yourselves. Didn't you already attend that school? Leaving and going back seems... Eh, well, good luck with that. Maybe I'll try to see my family again. It's been forever, but now seems like as good a time as any to do that. The whole thing might be a drag, though, so maybe I'll come straight back to Abyss. I think I'll... Yeah. Yep. I'll find a way to hit it big. Make tons of money. It's about time the indebted King of Grappling finally paid down all those damn debts. You could always ask my brother to help you out. Seems like a good way to go, really. Borrow from Holst? That's a hard no. Wouldn't dare to trouble my best pal like that. That's enough about me. What are you going to do now, boss? Eh, who knows? For now, I'll take some time to think. My main concern at this point is taking care of my people back in my hometown. You mean you'll continue your former line of work? No need to beat around the bush. And yeah, that's the plan. It's what I'm best at. But I can approach things differently now. Change how I live. Find ways to thrive in peace, you know? Makes sense to me. I wish you all the best. Thanks, friend. Right back at you. We both deserve to live our lives freely. I may end up back home after all this, but I worry about how my rogues here would fare without a boss. Always worrying about everyone but yourself. Stop with that already, yeah? There you go, being cute again. Though I'm certain if you're around, Abyss and everyone in it will be just fine. We'll keep an eye on Abyss as well. Isn't that right, you two? Absolutely. That place is a treasure trove of secrets. Just try to keep me away. I trust your motives are not all so selfish, Claude. And yes, we promise to protect Abyss in your absence. Boss! Boss! You can't just leave us high and dry like this! Where will we go? What will we do? I should have known. Humans are adaptable creatures. I'll sort it out just fine. <laughs> Relax, will ya? We all know Yuri's not the type to abandon his pals. He's a guy who always turns up when he's needed. Hell, we should all be taking notes from him. The world's a dreary place. We could all use a little help now and again. As long as we're all here for each other as true friends, we can live our lives to the fullest. You heard me. You're all my friends. You matter. You always will. That seems like a good note to end on. Sure does. Get you later, pals. I mean, friends. With that, I bid you farewell. <laughs> and so it is. Until next time friend.